Okay, we just found our first Youth Academy player at Liverpool, and his name is Khaled Abbas. He scored a goal on his first ever start, and he's looking like maybe the next Mohamed Salah. Now, in this episode, we are going to make more additions to the team. Players will be sold, players will be signed, and money will be spent as we continue our journey of making Liverpool the best team in the world again. So, drop a like down below for daily episodes, and let's get back into it. Now, to start the episode, Jurgen Klopp held a press conference, and Klopp says yes, we will make signings in January. There are some big changes coming to this team. But first comment, if you make Trent a midfielder, aka center mid, he grows two to three ratings. Yeah, there's a lot of comments about making Trent a midfielder. We're going to have some news on that pretty soon. He's got to wait a little bit longer. And next one, Gravenberch deserves more playtime. He has a lot of potential to be a future starting 11 player in the series. Yeah, so far when Gravenberch has played, he's played really well. I've been thoroughly impressed by him. And pretty much because of that, some players will be leaving the club. And last one, I recommend signing Andre from Fluminense. He's linked with Liverpool. Yeah, I wanted to sign Andre in the series because he is linked a lot and it could happen. But unfortunately, he's not in the game. I think it's because the Brazil League is not in the game. So Fluminense is on the game, which is very sad because I would have signed him. Also, by the way, we have started a FC24 player crew mode over on our second channel, Tyster Plus. So if you're interested, the link will be in the description for that. It was a pretty good first episode. But okay, the January transfer window is right around the corner and our current budget is 131 million. And like I said, changes are coming. So the plan for January, first things first, we're going to loan out some of the youngsters here, like uh, Gordon, like Kwanzaa, uh, Ben Doak, even Khaled Abbas. We're going to try to loan out for the rest of the year. I think he has a better chance of growing on a short-term loan for six months rather than staying at the club. So we're going to look for a six-month loan for some of these younger players. Now, in terms of selling players, we're going to look to sell Tiago. Just McAllister, Curtis Jones, Graven Birch have all jumped ahead of him pretty much. He's 32 years old. It's time to leave. It makes me sad though. Liverpool, my favorite team. So like, I don't want to sell these players. So we kind of have to. That's how teams get better, you know? And sadly, we're also going to try to sell Joel Matip. Same as Tiago. He's getting old. It's time to replace him with someone younger. So there potentially could be more, but we're going to look to sell those two players mainly. And we also need to hire some new coaches because I did see a defensive coach is available. And what was the name? It is uh, Kevin Siegenthaler. Well, what a name, but he's a new defensive coach because we needed that. Now, there was also another decent attacking coach, I think, for getting pressing. Yeah, Bobby Pryor has got good attacking skills, so he will join the attacking coaching department. So our stars get a little boost there. Now, before we enter the January transfer window, we face Arsenal, which is a very big game because we're just two points behind them in third place. And still, we're like a loss away from dropping all the way down to six. So we need to keep winning. And now that we have competitive mode on along with ultimate difficulty, things are only going to get tougher from here. Now, Gakbo and Tyler are so tired, but Gakbo needs to play. Otherwise, he's going to want to leave the club. So I got to play him here. I got to try and make him happy, but I think we still go with that lineup. It's a big game. We need our best players. Okay, Liverpool v Arsenal. Second versus third. This is very big. Okay, we're at Anfield, so we should have the home support behind us. We should have the advantage here. And this should be the last game before uh, some decent changes are made to the team. So so if we win, it'll make it that much better as we transition to a slightly different era at Liverpool. Okay, Sobosai. Space to go for a shot. Oh, man. is going to score one of these one day. And it's going to be an absolute banger. The power on his shots are insane. Now, Robertson cross in. Okay, Salah just kind of jumped over the bar right there. And we found out that competitor mode makes uh, the game a lot tougher. So without sliders, we're basically playing on like the most difficult settings you could. I still don't know what to expect though. Okay, McAllister, great steal. Jota. Okay, Jota. I don't know what that was, but okay, Gakpo this time. Okay, we just missed that tackle. But Jota just destroyed whoever that was. He's going to need surgery. And Arsenal are never playing that uh, tiki-taka possession way. They're playing really like slow, trying to keep possession. Wait, is that a foul? Wait, what? Oh, it goes back to give him a yellow card for that tackle. Jota's tackle. We got the first person camera. Bro, this is so cool. I like this addition to the game. I keep, whenever I see that, I imagine, like, what about a first person mode? Yeah, that was a crunching tackle by Jota, though. Oh, wait, what? Wait, uh, why do they have a free kick? Oh, no, Odegaard's gonna score this. He's gonna score it. Wait, how did they get a free kick? Did I foul someone? I'm confused. I forgot. But okay, it's one to Arsenal. I can't believe what just happened. I must have fouled someone or something and I didn't see it. Or it was a handball, maybe. Man, I knew Odegaard was going to score this. I just knew it. It's a great free kick. Okay, 23rd minute. It is 1-0 to Arsenal. Not a good start. Very weird start right there. Robertson into Gakpo. 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 Great turn into... Diogo Jota, and just like that, it's 1-1. Okay, Jota has been busy this game, has destroyed one of their players, and now scores. He has been busy. Bro, it's so hard to pick who to play Jota or Nunez. It's so hard to pick. I'm trying to really balance timeout, but Jota, I feel like, edges him a little bit. A large part due to his rating, he's like three ratings higher. But okay, immediate response, beautiful, it's 1-1. Alistair up to go to Gakpo. Gakpo gets it over, Silva slide to Jota. Jota, I tried to flip it up to Salah. That did not work at all. All right, Trent versus Martinelli. This is dangerous. Martinelli, okay. Trent actually makes tackle there. That was great defending by Trent. Solo slide. Tries to find Jota. He's not going to find him. Okay, we got to be careful to not get Jota sent off here. All right, corner sends in. Might be the first tackle of the first half. It's off by Solo slide. Going half time 1 1. I would say that's not bad after our bad start. And instead, Declan Rice is going to make it 2 1. I thought I was taking control of the other player, and I think we just couldn't close him down. Okay, now half time has just changed a lot. And Arsenal is showing why they're maybe a little bit more put together than us. Declan Rice, very good finish shot finish. And uh, pretty much halftime, it is going to be 2-1 to Arsenal. Well, we're still in this. We need to get second half, though. 
Okay, Martinelli just evaded. I don't know how many tackles there. Odegaard gets it back. Goes to Jesus, and it's 3-1 to Arsenal. Bro, Martinelli just evaded like four different, like three or four different tackles there. And it's a nightmare start to the second half. Okay, now this is getting out of hand a little bit. We need a response here to make it 2-3. So it's uh, through to Salah. Salah, oh, that first touch. Oh, okay, that was a good skip. Plays it back to Cody Gakpo's shot, and I think it's going to be a corner. Brent crossing. Kanate goes for it. Oh, Kanate hits the, I think, crossbar. Jota gets it back to McAllister. McAllister goes for finesse shot. It's blocked, and it's going to be out to Jesus. Come on, we got to score this second here. Bro, a good tackle, and we are just getting so unlucky right now. Allison, great save. Okay, Diaz for Gakpo, Nunez for Jota, and for now, we leave it at that. We know Man City are probably the best team in this league. I feel like this game is trying to uh, go for who's second best, and so far, Arsenal have looked like the second best team in this league. But that could change. Solbaslai up to Nunez, Nunez. Oh, man, it's good defending by Acuna. We got that press, though. Sala, Sala gets to do it. Sala, okay, how does Acuna get it back there? Wait, what? I thought we stole it. One good steal by Zubamendi into Solbaslai, Solbaslai in the box. Tries to go for a shot. Okay, Declan Rice just got there at the perfect time. Callister, so almost sly. Lays it off for Darwin Nunez. Ramsdale, good save. Come on, we got to score here. We need to get this second here. Nunez off the crossbar again. How unlucky can we get? Trent, crossover. Great cross. I was not going to get it. Oh, Tomiyasu clears it. I think that was Diaz, actually. Okay, they're playing it back to Ramsdale here, looking very shaky defensively. Or, I guess, passing out of the back. Diaz into Soboslai, near post, and he was taken out. That should be a penalty. That was Nunez, too. I keep getting players mixed up. I mean, it's got to be right now. If it's not right now, it's never. Nunez over to Trent. Trent will find Salah. Salah tries to shoot. Nunez gets it over to McAllister. McAllister tries to shoot, and Tomiyasu didn't get it. Robertson into McAllister. Over to... Solva slide cross goal, Ramsdale save, and that is going to be the game pretty much. Man, that initial free kick got us off to such a bad start. And honestly, Arsenal has played better than us. We got unlucky hitting the post like twice, the crossbar twice, but I think simply the better team won today. The more put together team. We're making improvements, but we're not quite there yet. All right, Besetic has been loaned out to Aston Villa. He has a much better chance to grow for six months than staying here. And also, Joel Matip sold to Borussia Dortmund for 12.8 million. It's a sad day, but Joel Matip, it had to happen. So, Joel Matip officially leaves, and we're now into the January transfer window. And I think this is the start of where this club really starts to change. So that gives us 143 million to spend now. And we need a new backup center back. Now, I like players like in, in Kapier, but he's went to Letico Madrid. I like players like Sale. I like Kasunu. Vince Moore would be an insane signing for the team. But I want a center back that can also play right back. And the player that fits that role best is Mohamed Simikon from RB Leipzig. Now, he's more naturally a center back, but he has the pace to play right back. And plus, he's not too expensive either. He's 23 years old. He's 80 overall. I feel like it's the perfect replacement for Joel Matip. So this should cost about like maybe 31 million. We're going to start with 27 though. 27 for Simikon and and they want 39. Okay, it's a little bit more than I expected. Uh, let's go with 35. They should accept that. That's a healthy offer for Simicon. He's young. We're paying for his potential more than his value. And Leipzig do accept that. So with Gomez still here, it means we got Simicon Gomez, two young, like athletic center backs who both could really both play right back. So I think this is a very solid pickup. Uh, okay, I offered 50,000 per week. And they're going to walk away? Are you kidding me? We can see ourselves out. Klopp, what have you done? Okay, we're going to go back in for him in a week, but Thiago is now leaving the club as well. Once again, Curtis Jones, Gravenberg, we got Harvey Elliott, all players that can play above him pretty much. Now, it's kind of funny where he's going, though. Thiago is going back to Bayern Munich. Yeah, they came in for him, and I thought, why not? It makes sense. And for 30 million, that's a lot of money. Okay, apparently now the team will not sell this player as he is too important for the club regarding Mohamed Simikan. You've got to be kidding me. Okay, we're going to wait to probably the end of January to go after him again. And if not, we have to look elsewhere. So instead of signing him right now, we're going to sign another player. And it's one that you guys have wanted in the comments a lot. And that is Takafusa Kubo from Real Sociedad. The former Real Madrid youngster, pretty much. He's progressed really well, and I feel like he fits our system really well. He can play on the wing, he can play at Cam, he can play at striker. So many positions in the attack. And for a backup to Salah, I feel like he's pretty much perfect. Now, he's going to cost a lot, probably. But for a young player like this, I feel like it's worth it. So we're going to offer, let's do 40, let's do 42 to start. That's a healthy opening offer. 43, let's try 43. 43 million, and Real Sociedad accept that. Okay, that's not too bad. Once again, we're paying for like the potential here because he's only 22 years old. Okay, let's try now to mess up this negotiation now though now he wants a sporadic role that is interesting i feel like he'd play more than that but it is what it is okay i offered 50 before how much these players want i'm gonna go like 75 that's a that's a decent amount 75,000, and kubo wants 85,000. okay the man's ambitious i like it kubo is signed up the first official signing of january for us and hey, as teams get better in the prem like man city arsenal united we gotta follow we gotta keep getting better and with kubo this team is now better so takafus kubo welcome to liverpool fc he looks great in that liverpool kit right there so along with signing kubo we've also 
also loaned out most of the important youngsters here. So Kubo now finds a spot on the bench. And I think next game he gets his debut, which that is against Bournemouth. A good chance for a bounce back win. And also the debut of Kubo. So we're going to rest Salah. Let's start Nunez for Jota. Let's do that. So Kubo, Nunez, and Gakpo front three. Um, let's do Gravenberge for McAllister. And I think we'll go with that. So let's see how it does on his debut. There he is, Kubo. Getting ready for his debut. The fans got to be excited about the first impression of him. I guess all the sudden we're also that are like a feeder club for us. Zubamendi, Kubo. But okay, we need a bounce back win. We got to beat Bournemouth here. All right, Kubo, first touch for Liverpool. Great touch. Nunez into Kubo, Kubo. Okay, he just got destroyed. He's got to adjust to the physicality of the Premier League. There's going to be some adjusting here. Gakpo over to Soboslai. Kubo making his run. Could score his first goal. Okay, there's not much adjusting needed. Takafuso Kubo scores 11 minutes into his debut. Oh, that's that's just a dream debut that quick. Bournemouth caught out from a steal by Gravenberch, actually. And then Sobo Slide just waits for him. It's a good assist. And Kubo, great finish from that right wing spot. Hopefully the first of many for Kubo. It looks like 45 million well spent. Was it 43 million? I forgot. 43 or 45 million. Oh, what are they doing? Darwin Nunez pounces. Should score this and he will it's 2-0 oh Bournemouth you just can't do that against our press you can't do it Nunez pounces okay wonderful start we could score some goals in this game right here oh what have I done what have I done why would I do that I am making fun of Bournemouth's press and I do that oh man I just I'm trying to keep the ball they held the ball for so long I didn't want to just lose it oh it's such a bad pass though I still almost uh, got to that I think it was deflected that's why Ali didn't make the save so not only did I give the ball up I I made the shot harder for Allison to save it oh that's one of the worst moments of so far at FC 24 for me 27 minutes and it's 2-1 I am in shame I should have knew they were gonna press like that so sly from distance oh my Sobo size going to score one of these at one point. Come on. Are you kidding me? That would have been like the best goal of the season by far. Oh my, the power on that is just incredible. Oh, Martin, great tackle. Man, I can't believe that didn't go in. How did that ball get past Trent? I'm not sure. But okay, thankfully we blocked him there. Just ran the ball out. All right, Trent, make that inverted run. Now he's going to look for someone. Gakpo, Gakpo. Oh man, I thought Gakpo was going to run towards it. He just kind of stood there. Let's trying to go towards the ball. Come on, don't let him score again. Van Dyke, Van Dyke, good tackle. Kanate, good clearance. And okay, first half, it should be 2 0, but it's 2 1. Come on, let's get this third and just wrap up this game. We can't let that one mistake cost us points here. Oh, Kubo, great still doing some defensive work. Trent, Zubamendi plays it through to Darwin Nunez, who should score this. Darwin shoots and Darwin scores and makes it 3 1. Okay, all of a sudden I feel so much better come on let's score more goals here let's get kubo a second and can we score a long shot with sobo slide okay, you know i'm score here oh great ball over to cliver thankfully he's offside though all right diaz and then harvey later on sobo slide the dribbling gets around one gets it to nunez nunez Gets it over to Luis Diaz, who is just on, and Diaz's first touch is going to be a goal. Okay, 4-1. We are back to winning ways in this game. If we would have dropped points here due to my error, I would have lost sleep over it. Oh, the passing is beautiful from Liverpool right now. Robertson has a pass, gets it over. No, Kubo had his brace right there. Oh, it's good defending in the end. Okay, that's full time. It's going to end as 4-1. Okay, hey, a bounce back win. Kubo scored a goal on his debut. I would say all around. Other than my mistake, that was a pretty good performance. And the Bournemouth fans in the stands are not happy, and our fans are happy. That's all that matters. So with that win, we stay in third place four points behind man city now five points behind arsenal in first so we're still right there with the top two now we were also in the care about cup semis we're facing brighton and the first leg was already 2-1 so one goal lead and a chance to go to a cup final i want to sign Simicon, but it still says he's too important for the club right now so we gotta wait and see if leipzig sign a center back then we could sign Simicon, i think so for the semi-final we're gonna go with kubo again on the left gakpo down the middle and sal on the right and win this we're in the care about cup final so we start with a one goal lead we should win this we should book our ticket to wembley now gakpo is went away for kubo here kubo Actually, let's go to Salah. Salah, that cross is going to be right to him. Over to Soboslai. Soboslai will shoot. It's going to be blocked, unfortunately. Oh, this is dangerous. Adam Lalana. No, Lalana scores against us. Okay, it's going to be 2 2 tied up now. I can't believe Adam Lalana scores against his former team. And then he celebrates. Hey, Brightner, no joke. Like, even though the one goal lead, we now see this game is not going to be easy. We can't lose it, though. 2 2. Okay, now we wake up. Come on, Takvis Kubo, I need you to show up again this game. Announce yourself as a new Liverpool player. Soboslai lays it off to Endo. Endo, great pass to Gakpo. This is much better. Much better. No, wait. Where was that pass even going, McAllister? I was aiming for Kubo right there. Robertson is going to find Kubo. Kubo. Back to Soboslai. Soboslai is going to get in the box. Then a stop. Look for a pass here. Goes to Robbo. Someone's got to find a shot here. It's going to be McAllister. McAllister against his former team. Steel makes a save. Come on. That was a good attack, though. Salah. Chance for a finesse shot. Left footed finesse shot. Oh, okay. He activated his play style there. Robertson crossing. Salah's there for it. The header is right on the ground, though, and it's going to be a goal kick. Come on. Take the lead here. Salah, you might be in here. Salah, you should not miss this one. Left footed shot, and Salah's not going to miss it. Okay. One goal lead restored. Now we take over this game. And Sobaslai has so many assists this season, it feels like. So many times he plays in Salah, either the 
striker. But okay, the game is 1-1, 3-2 to an aggregate. Now into the second half. Alistair gives it a Kubo, Kubo. Good playing Gakpo does. Cody Gakpo should make it another goal for us, and he does. Okay, 2-1, 4-2 now. Great way to start the second half. And also, I believe Kubo with the assist as well. All right, now we're starting to show what we can do. Robbo, crossover, Silva slide. He might get it, actually. Silva slide tried to, but I think uh, someone was offside. Oh, no, we have a free kick. Okay, Trent, this is a chance to score this. Come on, we got to score this. Trent, I feel like this is perfect. I feel like it is perfect. Oh, it's going to hit the wall again. That's so unfortunate. Trent, try again. I'm even, even farther out though. Okay, maybe not. Oh, Solbosly steals it. Now he is just on his bicycle. Solbosly near post is going to score another. Okay, that goal they scored made me a little nervous, but I think we're going to Wembley. We really didn't face anyone that tough uh, in the Carabao Cup so far, so it's been a pretty easy path. All right, Trent might have Nunez here. Trent, crossover. Oh, what a ball. Nunez, what a good header, but a good save. He could get one more here. Endo into Robbo. Gets it over to Darwin Nunez. Good first touch. Nunez shoots, and it's going to be another for Liverpool. Oh, man, 4-1. This has been another good game. And that right there is full time. We are off now to Wembley, probably facing Man City in the Carabao Cup final. So a big moment in this first season. Okay, yes, finally we can sign Simicon. This time, I will not mess this up. Now, I forgot what we got accepted for him last time. Uh, a little embarrassing. I think it was like 35, right? Uh, let's try 34 this time. See what they say to that. 34 million, and they accept that. Is that what we got last time? I think that's close to what we got last time, right? Anyways, we're not messing it up this time. So about 45 million for Kubo, and then uh, 35 for Simicon. So almost 80 million on transfers. I mean, that's kind of splash in the cash in January. Okay, let's give him 80 like Kubo. Signing bonus. Now he should accept that. Simicon, please, I want you in this team. He's even got the hair for Liverpool. It's got the colors. And just like that, Jurgen Klopp is an assigned Simicon. So the Joe Mati replacement brought in. Now this right here is a very interesting pickup because we got some future plans that Simicon fits right into those plans. But Simicon, welcome to Liverpool FC. I like this signing a lot. Oh my. Okay, I just saw this. You wouldn't believe this. Fulham made a comeback Back in the second leg and actually beat Man City in the Carabao Cup. So the final is us and Fulham. I was not expecting Fulham to make a comeback on Man City, but okay. The Carabao Cup final is set and we don't have an easier opponent. So that's good for us. I can't say that for the next game though, which is going to be Chelsea. So we are still in third. Chelsea are down in fifth. Not too far behind us though. And I think our new signing, Mohamed Simicon, he's getting his debut in this match. But before Mauricio Pochettino in a press conference says that these two teams are very similar. Trying to get back to the top of the table, making a lot of changes to the team. And we'll see what team has made uh, the best improvements here. So that right there is the Chelsea lineup. For us, Simicon starts alongside Van Dyke, And I think I'm going to go with Nunez over his joke to this game. Because Nunez is in form. So big game, Liverpool v. Chelsea at Anfield. Okay, Chelsea are wearing their uh, white kits. Wait, is that a white kit or is that a free? Wait, what is their kit? Is that actually their kit? Uh, okay, yeah, that's definitely not Chelsea's kit. I don't know what that is. Uh, not sure why, but I guess they're wearing their white alternate kit with not their logo on it. It is what it is. But Simicon, welcome to Anfield. Let's get a win in this first game. This would be a big win. Bravo. Get to McAllister. McAllister. Gets it to Darwin Nunez. In, oh, into Slova slide. That would have been a great start. Okay, this would be a good counterattack because Darwin Nunez is going to get past there. Up to Salah. We're going to try it. Salah heads it back to Cody Gakpo. Oh, my. What a finish that would have been. Cross in by Robertson. Salah's, Salah's always in the near post. He always does that flick, but no one's there for it. Nunez. Go for something special. It's going to be a corner. Okay, we need to loft this corner and more. Try and get it over the wall. That's perfect. Van Dyke, that is perfect. Sanchez makes the save, though. Oh, man, that was a perfect cross. Trent, another one. Van Dyke is there. Power header trait off the line again. Man, so close to scoring. Oh, Nunez, the dribbling by Darwin Nunez. Can he go all the way? Darwin Nunez will go all the way. Okay, Darwin Nunez is in form right now. Absolutely on fire. 1-0 to Liverpool. This is Darwin at his best. Like, this finish is powerful. He's got placement on it. Left foot. It is beautiful. Okay, 1-0 in the, uh, what is it? The 22nd minute. Chelsea have spent so much money, they can't afford kits. They got the Walmart generics. Okay, that's a good cross. Am I about to eat my words? Allison, great save. One off today, and that's out by Nunez. Nunez doing work both sides of the field. I'm not sure I like it on the defensive side, though. He's going to give a penalty. If he's not careful, Enzo Fernandez shoots, and I think Ali made another save there. All right, Chelsea looking a little bit better. Oh, Macau, so we got to get in Kunku there. Drags it back. Caicedo, Caicedo. I did not think Caicedo would get through there. He's going to score. I thought he would pass it. I didn't think he was going to go himself. A player that Liverpool tried to sign just scores in Anfield. I mean, it's really good dribbling there. That's really good. Okay, scoreline is 1-1. Chelsea have life. Gakpo over to McAllister. We got Sobo Sly in a little bit of space here. Sobo Sly, bang one. It's going to go to McAllister. McAllister bang one. Okay, it's 2-1. That chance came out of nowhere. The ball just fell right to McAllister. Right, I'll take it. It's 2-1. Very odd goal, but I indeed, once again, will take it. I want Silva Slide to score a long shot goal so badly, but you know what? McAllister, great technique on that. Okay, instant response. It's 2-1. Oh, Nunez is so good at pressing too. I'm noticing that him and Silva Slide are so good at pressing the back line. Jota definitely doesn't do that as well. But halftime, it's 2-1. Oh, man. Cross in from uh, Trent's side. They couldn't get the tackle in, but Simicon, great tackle on Jackson. Dominic, 
gets it to Sala. Sala waits for pass, finds Gakpo. Gakpo to Rabo. I might have ruined this chance by not shooting there. Cross back to Nunez. Nunez looping header. Okay, Nunez is in form. He's just on fire. He can't stop scoring. This time with like a looping header. Man, this was not easy too. Like Robo crosses it in. It's not an easy spot, but he gets enough lift to it over Sanchez. Man, Nunez, he might be earning that starting striker spot over Jota. I don't know. He is playing amazing right now. 58th minute, 3-1 to Liverpool. Soba Sly into Salah. Salah flips it up to Darwin. Nunez. Oh, we could have had a shot there. How did, how did the defender get that? That was a little awkward. Okay, good ball behind Simicon versus Kunku. Drops it back. Simicon. Okay, what a tackle by our new signing. That is the defensive play of the game right there. Oh, man. Chelsea's defense might now have the worst play of the game because Sova Sly will just take his time and shoot, and it's 4 1. It is embarrassment for Chelsea at Anfield. All right, Kubo on for Gakpo, and then Gravenbridge on for McAllister. This game has gone beautifully well, and this shows we can win against a good team on ultimate plus competitor mode. I mean, Chelsea defense has been so bad this game, though. But then again, in real life, they are pretty bad, too. So you could argue that it's realistic. Am I about to jinx it? Am I about to jinx it? Timmy Khan, it's another great tackle, but it's going to be pulled back for a foul. And if they score this again, if it's another free kick they score, I'll be so mad. Who is shooting this? Is it Enzo? Free kick is going to be, oh, I jumped early. No, I jumped early, but Gravenberch will block it, thankfully. Nunez out to Robbo. This could get worse for Chelsea. Robertson looking for a pass. We'll try and find Kubo for a shot. Oh, okay, that was that was poor. Kubo made a bad run. He should have stayed like towards the penalty spot. He like went backwards. Wait, who's hurt? Was that a Zumendi? I think Zumendi was down. I don't know if he was actually hurt though or not. Trent, oh, misses the tackle on Sterling. Another missed tackle. Always get the ball back. No, don't let him score here. Rabio. Okay, we just can't make a tackle right now. Rabio's in a score. No, Allison makes the save. Bro, sometimes it's just so hard to get the ball off them. Corner sent in, out by Virgil van Dijk. And this should end a very good win. One of the best wins of the season. Okay, this team is on a very high upwards uh, trajectory right now. And I'm liking what I'm seeing. Okay, now we are on transfer deadline day. We do have about, what, 91 million left, actually. But I think sitting on Kubo, there's two pickups that make sense. And I think that should be it. I feel like I don't see any more holes in the team that need to be addressed right now. So those are going to be the two signings for January. And I would say they're pretty good pickups. This team is looking better and better with each game. I mean, kind of. But deadline day is going to be shut. So table update, Man City Arsenal are slowly running away with it. Like they just keep winning. It's hard to keep up with them. We're still in the title race, but at this point, any drop points, we could fall out of it pretty easily. Now, I do want to keep track of our loanies uh, the rest of the season to see if they grow. Like Abbas has grown, I think, plus one already, which is very good. Love to see that. I think Connor Bradley's gone up one. I think Quans is up two. So these loanies should grow. And then next season, a player like Abbas comes back and maybe plays a much bigger role in the team. Bro, there are a lot of players on loan in Liverpool. Look at this. We got a whole like squad of players out on loan. Now, are there any more coaches? to hire so wait what has happened so i think our i think our stars went down because we uh, let go of a lot of players we loaned them out i think that's what it means so are there any more decent coaches we've got a good goalkeeping coach okay jackson morley let's get him on the goalkeeping squad so jackson what was it jackson morley on to the keeper squad here so now our goalkeeping has finally achieved the amount of stars man i want a good like defensive coach it's just a lot it's hard to find one that's like perfect this guy's really good but he doesn't specify in uh gig impressing and we actually can't even afford free up some coach slots oh okay we're actually full now okay so if we want to add more stars we got to fire some coaches like maybe Mars in here. If we go through, we might have to sacrifice some coaches to get the ideal stars in a certain position. All right, so that might need to be addressed. But into our next game, which is going to be Burnley at Anfield. Once again, if we drop points here, it could be us out of the title race. And also late change, front three of uh, Salah, Nunez, and also Kubo. That is our front three this game. Callister gets it to Kubo. Where is the good start? Kubo tries to find a uh, Trent, and we did not find Trent right there. Oh, Zubamendi is also improving at a rapid rate. He makes great tackles left to right now. We're kind of a slow start. We can't really get a chance here. That might change though, because Kubo has it. We got space. Kubo plays it as someone. Okay, Kubo. A nice idea, but it's not going to reach Salah. Okay, Kubo. The skill from that is insane. McAllister. Finesse shot from McAllister. Bro, long, long range finesse shots. I have not figured out yet. Players might need that play style to even have a chance on them. Ball off in. Van Dyke. Great clearance. Now, this could be a counter attack. Bobo Sly. Kubo's making a gun. Oh, Sobo Sly. I ran right into the defender. This game has been sloppy so far. Right, they got a free kick. Red bin in. Allison has that. Allison does have that. Kubo. Long ball to Salah. Goes to Trent, actually. That's a great ball from Kubo. Kubo has been amazing. Now into. Sobo Sly should be the first goal. Oh, man. Just cross the field. Switch of play. And then Trent to Sobo Sly. And it's 1-0. Beautiful play from Liverpool. 43rd minute, 1-0. Now, do you guys like having more games in each episode? We usually do four, but I've been trying to do six and make the games shorter. So we get to play more games, you know, against teams we probably would skip. But the games are much shorter. Everything's a lot more fast. So if you guys like that or don't like it, let me know in the comments down below. I feel like more games is usually... I feel like more games kind of better. More uh, variation each episode. Just like this goal. Okay, that shot... 
Soba Sly will score one one day. I believe he will. Salah might have Nunez. Nunez does have Nunez. Darwin Nunez shoots. Darwin Nunez is just literally on fire. He cannot stop making good runs, like good pressing and now scoring goals too. 2-0 in the 60th minute. I think Nunez might have won uh, the starting spot in the episode, at least for now. Okay, they might score here. Nope, Van Dyke. Van Dyke, get it out. Okay, that is some very good defending, actually. High pressure, but good defending. Nunez off to Solvo Sly. Solvo Sly, long ball to Nunez. Nunez. Oh, I saw Salah there. I was going to try to head it to him. Oh, Redmond gets it over. They could score one here. They might score one here, which, nope. Ali, great save. Kanata is not going to clear it, though. Ali, another good catch there. There's a lot of plays like that this year where you make a tackle and the ball bounces in a direction that you don't expect it to. And usually it's right to one of their own players, the CPU's players. Ran through ball. So I was going to reach that. Nope, he is not. He could steal it, though. Maybe not. All right, this should be last chance of the game. Good tackle again, man. A strong defensive performance here against Burnley. And yet again, another win. It's crazy. We're winning all these games, we're playing good, but we're still behind Man City Arsenal. It shows. Like, they're just levels above us right now, still. But hey, we're trying our best and we are barely sticking with them still. All right, jumping straight in the next game, which is going to be Brentford away. But before this game, in a press conference, Virgil van Dijk says that he thinks this team is getting back to that 2020 form. It's still a slow process, but the signings we've made, the improvements, everyone at the club is feeling very optimistic. And hey, with the way this team is playing, that's pretty easy to say. So come on, let's just keep this up. Brentford away. Not usually an easy game, but in this, I'm not sure what to expect. All right, Simicon starts over Kanate this game. Immediately, Simicon, great tackle. Him and Kubo have been such good signings. Double Sly will shoot. From distance, oh please, just one of these go in. Come on. Gets it back to Soba Sly Nunez. In to Salah. Salah waits, shoots. Good save by Strakosha. And Brentford are trying to keep the ball here. Our press is kind of forcing them back though. They're trying their best to play slow. They're scared of that Liverpool heavy metal counter attack right now. Honestly, it's a little bit annoying. Like, you guys do something. Can you guys attack? But don't score though. Okay, this is an attack. Semicon, that gets over. McAllister, McAllister just cleared. I'm gonna clear it. And he eventually clears it. Robertson gives it to Luis Diaz. Luis Diaz, great first touch. Diaz, I see Nunez. Nunez, oh, that goes to. Oh, Salah misses it. Trent will shoot. That almost deflected in. I think it was deflected off a of Liverpool. Yeah, it was deflected off a of Liverpool player, though. That would have been an interesting goal. Van Dyke needs to get tackle. Van Dyke, strong, strong defending right there. Now the counterattack ensues, which has been swift and deadly in this episode. Diaz over to Soboslai. Soboslai tries to find Salah. Wasn't the right pass. Goes to now Salah. Will shoot, and Salah puts the shot wide. Oh, man, right foot just couldn't get it on target. Still a good-looking attack, though. Nunez, Salah gets it over to Trent. This might be another chance here. Trent. Swings it over. Sobos live first time shot. Strakosha, another good save. And that right there is the first half. Come on, this breakthrough is right there for us. I feel it. Sobos live from distance again. Okay, it's going to be a corner. You know what? I'll take it. Robertson, good cross. That is Nunez, and it goes way over the net. Oh, Sobos live. The dribbling. We're going to go for it. Oh, the rising. Bro, his shots look amazing. The rise on that was incredible. Grant, good tackle in the midfield. Sobos slide tries to feed in Darwin Nunez, but Ben Mee is going to have uh, good positioning on him right there. But the press, though, look at the press. Look at Strakosha. He's panicking. Salah gets that header over to Trent now. He forced the mistake. McAllister. Sobo Sly. Dink up to Darwin. Nunez header, but it's going to go just wide. Come on, where is his first goal at, though? I'm starting to get nervous. Trent can try and find. Oh, my. Trent almost picked out an incredible pass right there. Darwin into Sobo Sly shoots. Good defending. First time cross for Rabo. Okay, what was that? This might work, though. Oh. It might work because Soba Sly scores. Okay, the ball is just like bouncing in a very fortunate way today for us. That was like off a Brentford player, off our own player into Soba Sly. Header on McAllister and it's going to be 1-0 finally. All right, Brian and Buemo, that's a good run. Robertson needs to try and deal with this, which he does. He does beautifully in the end. Luis gets to Nunez. Over to Soba Sly. Soba Sly, long ball to Diaz. Diaz to Robbo. Robbo. Tries to cross it up for Nunez. Not going to work. Is that handball? I think that's handball right there. All right. A bunch of subs for the final four minutes because players are tired. Now, what do we do with this? Is this a pass and shoot? I think it is. Brent lays it off to Mo Salah. Salah from distance. Oh, outside the boot shot. It was right at the keeper. I am so disappointed with that. Man, our press is just not allowing them to do anything that's full time. Okay. That game was not easy. Even a tough game like that away from home, we still got the win. It shows the improvements we're making at Liverpool FC. So now only two points behind Man City, five points behind Arsenal in a Carabao Cup final. And also Europa League knockouts begin soon. We are getting into like the business part of this season. And in the next episode, it might be time for something that you guys have been asking for. A big change in this team in the next episode. But if you enjoyed, drop a like down below. I'd appreciate it. You guys have shown so much support on this channel the past few days. And I appreciate that so much. But once again, on screen is our FC24 player crew mode that we started over on our second channel, Tyster Plus. So click on screen to watch that. And as always, hope you guys have a great day.